What's up everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Idaho Rifleman. Today I'm going to do another gear review, but I'm going to do it on the AR-15 Tac Pack build that I did. If you saw the video last week, you'll know that I did an unboxing with Tac Pack and I got you guys a promo code. Uh, I went ahead and took the different items from that box and built the AR up with them. So I'm going to demo the different stuff today, kind of see what we what we think and how it performs. So let's go ahead and get started with that. Alright everybody, we're in the studio right now. I told you I would do a review on the different items that came in the tack pack boxes. So what I did is I set up the Smith & Wesson M&P 15. This is actually my rifle. Um, I've demoed some different uppers and stuff with it, but in this configuration, the 5.56 Smith & Wesson M&P 15, that is actually my rifle. So I set up the Reptilia Arms pistol grip on it. I replaced the takedown pins with the field pins from Aeronox. I actually did lose a detent pin, but I found it, which I think makes me a legend in the AR community. I actually found a detent pin that went flying, so props to me. Um, <laughs> And then I set up the Aeronox 86 degree foregrip up front, and we have the Mission First Tactical 30 round AR mag. First thoughts on everything, the Reptilia Arms, it kind of feels slick on the sides. It does have texturing front and rear, but honest gear review, I'm not sure what I think of it yet. I'll actually have to take it out, put it to the test, and see. Foregrip, for my big hands, it is very small, but where it's set up, I can actually kind of wrap my front finger around the end of the uh, the MOE grip there. I do have to be careful with that because it's right under the gas block and I could definitely see burning my fingers if I'm not real careful there. But that is the most comfortable position for that grip for me. And then the 30 round mag, uh, I went ahead and loaded it up just to kind of see how it loaded and whatnot. Uh, the follower at one point did get stuck and kind of just had the rounds loosely inside the mag. It seemed like that cleared up. I don't know if that's going to be an ongoing thing. We'll put it to the test and see if it actually feeds here in a little bit. We'll go out to the range. But currently, I set everything up like I told you I would, and we'll go out and do an honest gear review of it. So we'll head out to the range now and see what we, what we have. All right, everybody. So we went ahead and reviewed the different... Tack pack box uh, additions to the AR. So now we're going to shoot. So the first shot, I've got the leftover ice block from the 30 out 6 video. And then we're just going to go ahead and do a mag dump on the Mission First Tactical 30 round mag just to see how it functions and make sure that it actually feeds correctly. I've only got 20 rounds loaded. It's Tula 55 grain 223 steel case, but we'll still make it work. All right, so I'm gonna wing it here because uh, the optics did. Hi. There we go. All right. We disintegrated that block. I'm gonna go ahead and do a 18-round uh, mag dump into the berm, and then we'll go and uh, show you just exactly what it did to that block. go. Okay, you can see we obliterated that block. Second shot. And then you can see our pattern 
actually was fairly tight with that optic. I mean, we've had a little bit of trouble with it in the past, but not too bad today. Okay, so we just got back in from the range. We put this to the test with 20 rounds of Tula, and uh, the sight that we've had problems with in the past, that actually performed pretty well today. It didn't want to turn on at first, so I'm not sure what that was about. Um, once I started shooting, it did kind of come on, but it was very dim. I tried adjusting the brightness. Inside, it's actually working great now, so I don't know what the deal with that was, but you know, once I actually could see the reticle, it actually grouped pretty well, like you saw. So, overall, um, I'm a fan of the Reptilia grip. I do like the Magpul rubberized grip that I had on here before. It was way more comfortable, but there's absolutely nothing wrong with that Reptilia grip. So, uh, maybe at some point, I don't know, we'll see, we'll figure out something to do with it. But... The foregrip, um, I think I actually, I'll have to review the footage again, I think I forgot to use the foregrip. I think I just grabbed the magwell like I always do. So, that being said, I think we'll actually have to go put some more rounds downrange. Alright everybody, I made a quick run to the store, picked up another box of ammo, so we've got another 20 rounds loaded up. This is going to be HSM remanufactured 223.55 grain, so we'll put it to the test. I added a single point sling here, and this time I'm actually going to remember to use the foregrip. I'll give a couple of quick shots for the little camera here so you can get a shooter's perspective, and then we'll dump a mag. Good enough for that. Well, that's just inconvenient. So the Lion Tactical quick release uh, riser and optic mount doesn't seem to hold up very well. Alright everybody, we're back in the studio. That was a fairly flawless test if you don't count the sight falling off which was hundred percent my fault by the way uh, it's got the quick release lever on this side which you can rotate kind of crank it down but for the final lockdown touch it's got two allen keys on the back and I did not tension those down so yeah that was on me uh, <laughs> the foregrip it's not bad uh, I do like it but it is very small for my hand. So uh, I think I would personally prefer something a little bit longer, but overall absolutely nothing wrong with the product. It performed very well and it's fairly comfortable. The field pins, I'll show you. Firearm is clear. I didn't pick up any of the 223 brass while I was out there. So I've got the OT6 very very quick and easy to pull these pins out and take down your AR so overall the build from the tack pack kit I think was pretty good the reptilia arms grip that's on here it's a great grip it's very nice very comfortable uh, I think I do prefer the MOE Magpul grip that I had on there. And again, none of this is a paid sponsorship. I'm not being paid or compensated in any way to talk about this stuff or review it. It's just something I wanted to share with you guys. And just kind of general curiosity on my part. So, overall, I think it was uh, pretty successful. The Mission First Tactical Mag, 
performed great both times. Didn't have any issues. I was a little worried with the follower because it was a little sticky when I was loading it, but it seems like it wasn't an issue at all. And then that HSM ammunition, which is remanufactured, made in Montana, that uh, actually performed very well too. I was kind of worried, but uh, it doesn't seem to have any issues. There's some minor cosmetic defects in the brass, little dings and dents and scratches and whatnot, but I didn't have any issues running it. So, also good review on that. Uh, two other things to talk about real quick. The mechanics gloves, very comfortable, very nice. Uh, shooting that second time with those, um, great, great addition to your range bag. And I mentioned these a uh, few videos back that I got for Christmas, but I haven't actually talked about the noise canceling earbuds that I've been using as EarPro. These are Isotunes. They are a noise canceling Bluetooth earbud. Uh, they lower the surrounding decibel by about 20 decibels, which is more than enough for me shooting. Um, and then they Bluetooth to your phone so you can listen to music through them. Um, or they just kind of deaden the sound around you and have good noise canceling quality for uh, phone conversations as well. So I really like these. They're pretty comfortable to wear and I don't have to be constantly taking out the other ear pro like I have been doing since day one. So overall pretty big fan of these. These were a, a really nice Christmas gift that I got. So finally remember to talk about them. All right, everybody. That's going to wrap up this week's episode of Idaho Rifleman with my Tac Pack AR build. If you guys liked the video, please make sure to click the like button and subscribe to the channel. If you've already subscribed, just do a quick double check to make sure that uh, you're still subscribed. I know YouTube has played some games in the past with channels like this and I'm subscribing people and I've seen kind of a, a rise and dip in the numbers. So I don't want to think it's me, maybe it is, but just double check to make sure YouTube didn't unsubscribe you. Be sure to check out Idaho Rifleman on Facebook and Instagram, and I will leave in the pinned comment the video from the Tac Pack unboxing so you can go and check out that promo code. I hope you guys all have a great week. Take care, stay safe, and God bless. We'll see you next time.